And now, despite the raging war, illegal mining, popularly referred to as Galamse, continues to thrive in parts of the western region. Some operators say they have no intention of quitting the business until government provides them with alternative jobs. Sandra Apenu reports the trade is now plied in the full glare of the public. At first glance, a visitor will misconstrue this to be flooding caused by heavy rainfall. But River and Cobra, which many homes depended on for their livelihoods, is now discolored due to illegal mining, popularly referred to as Galamse. This river is almost there due to activities of Galamse operators. We used to fish from the river, but due to the activities of Galamse operators, we no longer get fish. Away from the river, vast tracts of land in most parts of the western region have been degraded. This is one of the many Galamse sites at Ewunakrum in the Mpoho district. Here, Galamse is a trade for all. The young, old, male and female are all in the business. Although aware of the dangers involved, they have no intention of quitting the illegal business. 17-year-old Kwabena is a casual laborer at the site. What you are doing is illegal. Yes, I know. Because I don't have any work in my community. That's why this is only work in my community. That's why I'm doing it. Unlike Kwabena, who has been doing this for three years, Peter Pra has been involved for more than 10 years. Government must provide an alternative job if they want to stop Galamse. I have family to take care of. I can't stop this job. Our next stop was breathtaking. This group of operators are called the brave, and business here is no child's play. The journey begins right here, miles deep into the belly of the earth. Uh, you see, where I, I get before I get this load, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. So if and I how get... Many, how many miles? It's getting many? about four miles coming up. Mm -hmm. You see, so when, when, when I get different work mm -hmm. and I'm doing, I'll get money. Mm -hmm. I'll stop because it's mm -hmm. dangerous work. Yeah. Very it's very very dangerous it's very very dangerous How long have you been work doing it? oh we have been doing it so many so many years this is the story of the galamse guys here um it is actually in search of the precious minerals i mean gold but actually to get this gold it's a tedious work i've not gone so deep but look at the way i'm sweating it's not an easy job to get these bags of sand and rock particles, we are told, requires courage, determination and hard work. These bags of sand, now heaped into smaller quantities along the main Takwa road, are sold to those who do not have the courage but still interested in the illegal gold business. Prices range between 150 and 300 cities, depending on the quantity. And there is no way one could not even get a pint of gold from the heap. <laughs> Uh, 1.5 and I said 3 million and I said 2 million and the old commercial now could be a bubble modern say the old toy you know. for these young men the journey may be torturous but until there is an alternative job the illegal search for the precious mineral gold continues <laughs> <laughs>